First one, so here, uh, let's do the hook. All right, what's the hook? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Here, watch, I got this. By the way, your hands are cold like a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes it more attainable. So we shouldn't be touching, people are gonna... Okay, oh, okay, okay, that was... <laughs> hey, hey, give in to your desires. That's... Let's say you're out of the club and a girl's all over you. Then you fuck it up. I've seen this happen so many times with so many different clients, people coming back around and again, asking, why is this the case? What do I do when a girl does like me? How do I lead this interaction to success? Yo, bitch, I got some buzzes on my fucking stomach. The first Austin Bootcamp sold out so fast that I couldn't meet demand. So for this month, I decided to do a second Austin Bootcamp. You will be going out six hours a day with one of the world's greatest dating coaches. I've worked with multiple companies, been in the industry now for 11 years, and you'll get coaching from me six hours a day. The girls in Austin are gorgeous. Sixth Street is incredible. Payment plans are available. If you are interested, text 702-841-9909. And I look forward to hearing from you. Here's what happens up. if you don't approach on my boot camp. Uh, I don't know if you can see. He's doing push-ups. If you don't do an approach on my boot camp, that's what you gotta do. But see, here's the thing, I'm way nicer. So if you want a nice coach, everyone's gonna get my boot camp after you said that. <laughs> the big thing I see a lot of guys do is that they try to take the interaction from a headspace of what would I do if a girl showed me interest, which I think is where a lot of guys fuck it up. I think that from our perspective, if a girl showed us interest, we'd take her immediately to bed. We'd be all over her. We'd start professing our love for her. That would be what most guys would do. Because in a, in a scenario where an attractive girl, the most gorgeous girl, a Megan Fox look-alike was hitting on you, guess what would happen? That happened to you the other day. Yeah, it did actually Your happen. Your girl looked a yeah. lot like Megan Fox. She was and gorgeous she was all too. Over you. She was hot, I thought she was hotter than uh, Megan Fox. Where's I don't know thing? if I go that far, but no, she was she really was hot. hot. She was really hot. Uh, anyway, so to me, I, I think that you need to look at it from a perspective of understanding that women are attracted and think differently than men do and have, are coming from a completely different experience than, than we. Women generally have a buyer mentality and men generally have a seller mentality. Yeah. So most women, because especially in a club situation, a bunch of guys are coming up to them, hitting on them. So they have this assumption of value. Like I am sexually valuable. Men want me. They want to have sex with me. And I'm assuming he's hitting on me. I assume yeah. he wants me. And so they get to test the guy. They get to mess around with the uh -huh. guy and see if he's worthy. That's their frame is seeing if he's worthy. Mm -hmm. What most guys do is fall into that frame. Yeah. And they assume they're not worthy and that most girls will reject them. It's hard for them to get laid. So when they talk to a girl, they're trying to sell themselves, prove I'm good enough for the girl. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know why I was joker laugh, but uh, <laughs> you know that's, that's the, the vibe a little bit. But they try to prove themselves to the girl as being worthy, and then, yeah. and then they're taking a position of lower value. Well, girls, they, they want value. So to a guy, the big thing for most guys is the fact, is the girl attractive? You'll even backwards rationalize all of her amazing traits. You'll say that she's this amazing, gorgeous, cool girl. That's like, you'll say that she has the greatest fucking personality on planet Earth. Which most, if you go out for any period of time, you start realizing this is, a, this is an absolute facade. And when you start treating the girl like this and you start treating her and you're putting her on this pedestal, the girl cares a lot about your personality. And by personality, I mean personality status. I mean, does she respect you as a guy? If she doesn't respect you, she's not gonna fuck you. If she doesn't respect you, she's not gonna wanna date you. And when you come across like, oh, thank God you like me, you're so overly, you're, you're so over the moon and ecstatic for her to like you, what happens? Now your value drops, 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 because a guy that believed that he was higher value than she was, which is what a girl wants to date, she wants to date a guy higher value than her, she's gonna wanna reject you immediately. So you wanna be on her heels. You wanna have your own standards for what you want in a girl and start screening out yourself. Treat The, the way that I personally do it is, when I talk to a girl, I treat her like I would a close friend, but with sexual masculine intent. I don't ever verbalize it. That, that's the it. same as, as you do with close friends. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference there? I, I don't I don't notice the difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's put that one out there for a certain guy. This his name starts with the J and ends with the Ulv. I don't know. He could about. I don't yeah. know who you're talking about. Bro. Yeah, he's gonna love this. <laughs> Gay. Um, so for me personally, the way that I think about it, most guys. They, they get this Disneyland view, they get this stupid mindset that where that they need to like, when the girl ever pull out flowers and shit like that, they need to woo her. And that's not the way you woo her. You woo her by not taking her seriously, by treating her like like a kid, by treating her like like a close friend, but like like that you can like diss on, you can push and be playful with, that you can like risk offending. To be charismatic, you have to risk offending somebody. Mm -hmm. And if you're unwilling to, to risk offending somebody, then you're lower value than them. 
Like to be like, and I mean from a place of being playful and fun, not from a place of trying to beat her down. It's from a place of trying to build a vibe with her, which I think is a big difference. You know what's an interesting example of that? You know who used to be one of the most charismatic people on the planet? Mm -hmm. Russell Brand. Yeah. If you watch his old interviews where there's one where like the four people, he just takes over the room, insults them, makes it like he accuses one of the girls. She does this with her hand. He's like, you're a shaft grabber. You're grabbing a shaft. You know what that means you want to do? Your ring don't mean nothing, Mika. Your ring don't mean nothing. He's offending everyone. He's, yeah. he's calling them incompetent and he's getting away with it because he's having fun. Now, Russell Brand is far less charismatic than he used to be. He's still mm. all right, but he's not yeah. nearly as charismatic. And what is different? He doesn't offend. He's yeah. a nice guy. I mean, he still will disagree with, with people or whatever, but he doesn't have that edgy, disagreeable energy that he used to have. No, he's definitely become a lot more gray, which I think is something that a lot of people are doing nowadays, especially with mass media, because um, a lot of guys are getting almost terrified to do anything other than what they think is acceptable. Society's mm. like this ever-constricting uh, straight jacket and i feel like it's going to get worse over time before it gets better and the funny thing is is if you were willing to risk offending people you would actually and you're willing to push on them they actually will accept your frame if you believe in your frame 100 percent. but the only guys that can really do that are the ones that are uh that are on their purpose that are putting themselves out there that are being extroverted that are that are again taking the the, the practice of, of offending people you have to do it little by little if you're somebody that can't offend somebody this is really hard to like just hear and then do out of nowhere so take little baby steps to start doing this but the big thing behind this is that if you're if you're one of these guys who's like, well, I'm not gonna say this. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna risk hurting this person's feelings. Guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna keep constructing yourself until you're like, I'm not that guy that can do this. I'm not that guy that can have my own opinion. And you're gonna start becoming another one of the sheep guys. The sheep people, the sheep guys, the ones that are low value, the ones that girls don't fuck. They're not the ones that they go home with on the first night. And that's a big issue with a guy that is approaching a girl or is it was interacting with a girl that that initially likes him because now he's the color gray now he's in a straight jacket now he's trying to be what he thinks she wants him to be because Which, now what does that imply he's he's afraid of losing her it also implies on an even deeper level that he's low status exactly that he's low yeah. status because if you think in tribal times like biologically what is our brain program to, mm -hmm. to think of in terms of status yeah. so what does a low status person do they're worried about being rejected because they have no power they yeah. don't have the power to take a leadership role. Uh -huh. So they're not gonna say anything offensive, they're not gonna take the lead, they're not yeah. gonna do anything that risks rejection, whereas someone who is at the top, the alpha yeah. male, whatever you wanna call it, the high status person, uh -huh. they're, they have to make controversial decisions because they're leading people. Yeah. So they have to be willing to offend and that's like the fundamental difference between a low status person and a high status person. That's so true. I mean, that's how Donald Trump became president. It wasn't necessarily because of his ideas being good or bad, it was because he was the highest status person uh, in the debates. He was clearly yeah. that he was the most controversial. He was willing to take the alpha high status role more mm -hmm. than anyone else. And on an unconscious level, when they hear Jeb Bush be like, I'm an agreeable politician, and you know, filtered, fake, sheep, low status, beta. Yeah. That's what they think of when they think Jeb, think of Jeb Bush. I, yeah. hope, I hope he doesn't see that. Yeah. But <laughs> um, when they think of Donald Trump, they might think jackass, dickhole, don't like him but they also think high status because he's yeah. disagreeable. Who's another great example? Andrew Tate, who's becoming right. very quickly uh, the most famous person in the manosphere, right? He had a, a video get like 5 million views in a few days recently. Why is that? What is What makes him so interesting and unique? Everybody's talking about him. Everybody's but why are they talking about him? Uh, because he's engaging, he gets people's emotions going. That's actually what he said about, I was watching a video about him last night and he actually was pushing Julian uh, style me mentalities. So you're saying like that he's he, similar to old school Julian. If, if a, a girl ways. doesn't, if a girl doesn't feel emotions towards you, if she's like, then you're boring. The worst thing you could be to a girl is boring. Mm -hmm. It's it means that you're not, you're not like girls are very emotional creatures. I mean, we are too. Don't get me wrong, but girls experience emotions differently than we do, and it, it's more in terms of of men and the way that you like you they get attracted to another person, because mm -hmm. a girl like you guys who've, who are watching this video right now, you guys have probably had it where a girl initially liked you, and then she didn't. Was it because all of a sudden he became ugly? Did he all of a sudden become an ogre? Or is it because your personality was not something that she found attractive? Did she not find you now a high value guy that she can respect? Because girls only fuck, guys, they respect. And that's that's the truth of it. If you're gonna like come across to a girl that is interested in you, you, you have to still be willing to risk losing her. You have to understand that whether or not she is interested in you, if she leaves, you're gonna have another version of her come along at some point or another. Work on your charisma, work on on being that guy that is willing to push girls away. Not every girl is supposed to like you. And if you're trying to make every girl like you, no girls will like you. Bitch,